everybody and good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I am currently sitting outside the Frankenmuth Police Department. Um, I called around and apparently this is the the place to go to get your car seat checked. Now, if you need it installed, I have to call a different number and go somewhere else. But they can at least check the car seat here for me um, to make sure that I installed it properly. So that is what I'm going to do. Um, we really especially wanted to get this done because we learned so much after the first video where we installed the car seat wrong. Um, we just wanted to make sure that we did it right this time. So I'm actually in our smaller car. Uh, Tiffany has the Equinox. She's away at school right now, so she's not here with me. But as long as I know that I installed this one right, then I'm pretty confident that I can install the other base correctly. So I'm going to go in. I'm going to look for the officer that I need, and hopefully I get good news and I don't have to go anywhere else to have the car seat reinstalled. Um, so I will let you guys know what the officer says in a few Okay, so the officer just checked the car seat for me. Um, long story short, it looks good. Uh, I want to talk about it more, but I'm going to talk about it when Tiffany is with me so that I don't have to say it five times. So, uh, it's a, it'll be like half an hour for me, but it'll only be like three seconds for you. So, just hang tight and you'll hear more. I'm home. Hey. Honey, I'm home. Lucy. Oh, you already started the vlog? I did. <laughs> yes. Okay. Um, I, I went like, to get the car seat checked out today. Yes, how did that go? In the, the little car. It went really well. <laughs> Just time out. The little car? <laughs> yeah. You make it sound like it's like a little Mini Cooper or a little Matchbox car. Well, it feels like a matchbox car now that I've been in the Equinox. Yeah. We just have a cruise, but... And after installing the car seat, mm -hmm. it definitely feels smaller. Because I had to move the car, the seats up a little bit for the car seat to fit in. Oh. Yeah. So. Okay. It feels small in there. So where is the car seat? In the middle? It's in the middle. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay. I installed it in the middle. Um... And I installed it using the seat belt method. Okay. With the lock off system. Okay. Instead of using the latch. So I had to go meet with an officer and I had to go to Frankenmuth to do it because he was the closest one, I think, who was certified to check to see if it was installed. Oh, correctly. they have to be certified? It's not even just... Mm hmm Oh, I thought it was just any police station. No, they have to be certified. Wow, you had to go all the way to Frankenmuth? Yeah. I mean, it's, it's not, not super far, far but right. still. Um, now, if I wanted it installed, he wouldn't be able to do it for me. I'd have to go through someone who's actually certified to install them. So, okay, because so I installed it myself, he could check to see if it was good. Oh. But if I needed it installed, we would have to call a different number and meet with someone else to do it. Wow. Mm -hmm. I had no idea that you... Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I tried calling the, the fire department here and no one answered. So then I called the police department here and they sent me to Frankenmuth. So I called the Frankenmuth police department and ended up going there. So I had no idea that it was two different things. Installation and car seat checks. Car seat checks. Neither did I. What about people at the hospital? Apparently they can check also to make sure. I don't know if they install them there, but when I was talking to the officer, he said that the hospital can also double check to make sure your car seat is installed properly. Okay. So he opened the door and he got in the car and he shook the car seat like left to right, tried to move it this way, tried to move it up and down. And he said that everything looks really good good yeah so you feel I good was, I, yeah i felt really good okay um so and then he told me that he's seen car seats that he could just like tilt and like put on its side because it was so loose and i was like 
Oh my goodness. But he was really happy that the car seat was in the middle of the car. He said that's the safest place for it to be because if there was a side impact, okay. you know, it's uh, safer there. Did you ask him even with the latch system? He, I asked about the latch system because he said that he normally does the latch. Yeah. And I said, can I still do the latch in the middle? And he told me that I could, but... I don't, our, the, our car doesn't have the latch specifically in the middle, I thought. So I just used the seatbelt system. And he said it was, it was really snug. So. No, I meant like, could you use the seatbelt and the latch? You're not supposed to use both. Okay. Yeah, it says right in the Chico manual. I know, but I thought, manual, and maybe I was mistaken. And seatbelt. Right, I thought we were going to ask why though. Oh, we would have to call Chico to find out. I don't, oh, okay. I don't know if the officer would know or not. But okay. Excuse me. Usually it's... Excuse me. Okay, we're both other. having some... Some hiccup issues. Hiccup issues right now. That's weird. Little man is not having the hiccups right now, though. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't that be funny if all three of us had the hiccups at the same time? <laughs> that would be funny. We'd all be on the same page. Three peas in a pod. Yeah. So anyways, the officer said he was really happy with the way that it was installed. Um, you know, he was happy that I installed it rear facing, which I think that is the only way you can install an infant seat is rear facing, but that's my understanding. Um, yeah, he said everything looked really good, really snug and <clears throat> he sees no issues with it. Okay. So, so that made me feel really good. Now, Will you be keeping the whole car seat in there for the time being? I'm going to take the car seat back out. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Just because if we were to get into an accident before the baby gets here, we would have to replace the whole car seat. Right. I just didn't know because so, we don't really take that car mm -hmm. that often. Right. So. Um, so I can take the car seat out. So if we were to get into an accident, the only thing that would need replacing is the base. Okay. So, yeah. Yeah, sorry. My mind is just really thinking about this. Um, I talked to some people today who gave birth. They, their first child, They both of the people gave birth at 37 weeks, and then the other one was 38 weeks. Oh, really? Yeah, so, like, it's pretty... Like, it's I'm hearing stories close. from people that it's just as common to have your baby a couple weeks early as it is to have it two weeks late. Mm -hmm. So I, I really haven't found any, you know, well, I had the baby this time. It's kind of like the whole hair or no hair thing with heartburn. You know, it's like sometimes it just happens, sometimes it doesn't. Right. But she did tell me that it would be good to make sure that we had all of our ducks in a row um, before, uh, you know, the 37th week. Right. Just for peace of mind. And it's it's coming up so fast. We're basically at 36 weeks right now. In like two days, yeah. Yeah, well, one, really. Well, and, and then... I talked to her, and I also, she actually gave birth um, at Hurley. Okay. Or, yeah, Hurley. Uh-huh. And Flint. So I said, um, we're, you know, going up to Saginaw. You know, obviously, both hospitals are, you know, really good or whatever, but... Mm -hmm. I said, <clears throat> I don't know why that part was important, but anyway, I felt really good talking to her because she's the first person I talked to, you know, who made me feel like it was okay to be worried Oh, good. about things. Like, mm -hmm. even when you and I talk, like, one of my biggest, like, concerns was that I really like to be prepared, and then you get all the comments from everyone, not just, like, campers, not just you guys. Like, oh. everyone, like, our family, our friends, you know, yeah. people saying... Your mom, uh, my, my mom. Yeah, our moms especially. Oh, you're never going to be prepared. Oh, you guys are going to be fine. Stop worrying. It's... I really dislike You'll get through that. It. You're never going to have enough money, like, to be prepared for a baby. Um, you know, you'll know what to do. Things like that. It just... It made me feel like every time I said something, nobody was validating... Your fears? My fears. Like... Mm -hmm. They never said, oh, that's just a stupid thing. That's stupid for you to think about that, blah, blah, blah. But at the same time, I am worrying because it's our first child. And right. I've never even been pregnant, so I can't even begin to understand how you feel. 
but it's just been really nice like this whole day obvious or obviously actually other than seeing your face it's been the nicest thing about this day Being because validated. i've been so overwhelmed with everything lately with schoolwork and stuff like that mm -hmm. that it was really nice to hear someone say yeah i felt the same way man i was so worried sometimes i'm still worried my baby's barely one you know but you know what that worry it'll it'll drive you she said and You'll get your stuff done, and you'll feel really you'll feel really good about it at the end of the day. Wow. Yeah, so it made me really happy. Good. That is good. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. I'm, you know, I'm so nervous for these next few weeks. You, uh, I was just thinking. You're you know, making me we're nervous. We're at 36 weeks. Our friend was induced at 37 weeks. So, in a week from tomorrow, I'm going to be at the same point as one of my good friends when she had her babies. Well, that's why this week I finish all the homework. I have my presentations Thursday. Mm -hmm. And this weekend, I get those other two papers done. Mm -hmm. And that way, I will be able to let you be worried <laughs> for a couple of weeks or a yeah. week if that's all you need. But we, when we go in Friday, it's like a real check, right? So won't they check for dilation? Yep. Friday we have our next OB appointment. Okay. They are going to do the strep B swab and they're going to check for dilation. So yeah, we'll find so out on Friday. We should know if uh, we're getting close Yeah. by Friday. Hey, honey. Did you get caught in like a rainstorm today? No. Did, no? I don't even think it rained. Did you step in a puddle? What are you getting at? Well, I noticed that there were some soaking wet socks in the hamper today. So I wondered what happened. Because they're not my socks. How do you know? How do I know they're not my socks? They're not mine. Well, then whose are they? And how did they get into our house? And why do you have a guilty look on your face? Why were you in the hamper, first of all? They were no, right let's on talk top. About that. They weren't right on top. You were rooting around in the hamper to find the wet socks. I was not. What were you doing in the hamper? They were right on top. Okay, but really, though, they really weren't right on top. They were like, I covered them up with another article of clothing. Oh, did you? Well, you didn't cover them up very well because I spotted them right away. So you walked by the hamper, you saw a wet sock, and did you find the other one? <laughs> well, I just like, I was like, what is that? Why is it soaking wet? And then I saw that it was a sock. Did I find its pair? No, but that's why I asked if you got caught in a rainstorm or stepped in a puddle. Okay. <laughs> so. So you weren't purposely rooting <laughs> through the... No, why would I root through the hamper? Okay, Unless fine. Unless I'm going to do laundry. But that's what I thought, but... I've been way too busy today to do laundry. <sighs> can someone come do our laundry for us, please? I can do the laundry. So can I. <sighs> so. Yeah. This morning. I, I've been really, like, trying to be careful about talking about how I've been feeling lately because we received, like, a lot of feedback on how... Oh, you girls are really depressed lately. It doesn't make for an interesting vlog uh -huh. and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm like, well, so I kind of was pretty cognizant about saying, oh, I'm so this, I'm so that, you know? So mm -hmm. I didn't really want to talk about it, So, but I have to know. Um, I was so out of it this morning and so tired. Uh -huh. I don't know, number one, how I went to bed with socks on last night. How I woke up with them both intact, because you know... Sometimes if I go into bed with socks, I kick them off. Yeah, and then I find like three pairs of socks in the bed. Again. You must have been so tired that you just didn't realize. So I did my little morning routine. You know, sat down on the, the porcelain god there. And sang Tina's song. <laughs> Never mind. I don't know Tina's song. The... Uh, Bob's Burgers song. Yeah. I don't remember it either. <laughs> Somebody will. And uh, got in the shower. And as I'm standing in the shower, 
my legs felt weird. I was like, what's wrong with me? Why does this feel so weird? And then I was like, holy crap, I'm going to pass out in the shower. Uh-huh. I looked down, and I have socks on. Oh, I had honey. my socks on. I was standing in the shower with my socks on, and they were disgusting and gross because all of my... I, like, washed my hair. Uh-huh. I didn't even realize getting into the tub that it felt weird. And we have, like, this mat that Carrie picked out that, uh-huh. like, is supposed to not get moldy. You know, it's like a... It's like a, a non-slip mat. Yeah, but, like, it's good on your... It's cool on your feet, you know? Like, yeah. I didn't even notice that there was a difference getting into the tub. And you always look at your feet when you're getting into the tub. Everyone does. You put a foot over, and you're like, okay, good, I got footing. Didn't even occur to me that I had black socks on. <laughs> Way to go. Tub. I was half tempted to just shower with them on. Just finish the shower. But no. then I knew you would get mad at me for stepping outside of the shower with my socks on. Oh my gosh. It drives me nuts already when you just step out. Why does that bother you so? Why? Yeah. Because you dry yourself off in the tub and then then you step out so that the floor is not completely soaking wet. I don't like the way the shower like feels and tastes. Why so I have to get out of the shower right away. Shower. It's not about tasting it. It's like the air in it. It's a very like you breathe it in heavy, and it's like heavy and I I need to get out from the hot water. Yeah, I need to get out. I get and I rinse and I'm out. Like I am wet on that rug and that's why we have that rug. No, that is not why we have that rug. Yes, it is. No. So then, get a different rug for me. One that specializes in soaking up water. No. This is me. Dry off in the tub. This is who I am. I cannot change change this part. You can. I cannot. You can. Have you ever taken a shower with your socks on? No. Hmm. I don't recommend it. It's gross. (laughs) It's... You know what it felt like? Have you ever like fallen into a pool with all your clothes on? Yes. And it's like really heavy, like all those clothes on you? Yes. I actually fell into a pool with a jacket on, like a sweatshirt. Yuck. Yeah. I was trying to be stupid and do a skit out by the pool. It was like 80 degrees and I'm outside with a hoodie on. Mm-hmm. My cousin Chris came up and just tanked me right in the pool. Shoes, pants, jacket, t-shirt. It I... was disgusting. I'm sure that I've fallen in with clothes on many a times, but I remember one time specifically when I was like in my full pajamas and I got up one morning and I looked out the window and the dog had fallen into the pool. This was Michael. Michael? Yeah. He'd fallen into the pool on top of the solar cover and he couldn't get out. So I had to run downstairs outside jump into the pool on top of the solar cover to save him. Aww. But, yeah. How, how am I just <laughs> now learning this story? Yeah, that was scary. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So, this that's is the one second that, time I've cried today. That's one time I remember being fully clothed. And fully clothed and jumping in? Yeah. So anyways, I was saying... That's one time. Wait, why are we switching? Uh, because you said that that was the second time you had cried today. Sorry guys, our battery died so we had to switch it. But I want to know um, what caused you to cry the first time today. Yeah, but are you done with your story? Yeah, I mean I was just saying that was one of the times that I remember going into a pool fully clothed. Okay. I just wanted to make sure you were done. Yes. I don't want to cut you off. I don't know. Well, okay, so I don't know if everyone knows this, but um, Michelle and Craig, two of our campers, started a group, like a an online group for... They call it the campground. Yeah, they it's... call it Tiff, and I'm trying to pull it up, Tiff and Carrie's campground. Mm-hmm. So... When she asked if she could do it, she called it like a, a fan page, pretty much, right? Oh, yeah. I just don't like that word. Well, I just was trying to, like... Relay the message. No, no, that's perfect. To our campers. I gotcha. So, in this group, everybody, like, they all get up in in the morning, 
And someone will start the count. And this group has only been up for like two or three days. Yeah. But so far, and and maybe it's because it, I I don't I don't know that it's just because it's a new group. Mm-hmm. But, you know, historically, new groups are really active. But like twenty six minutes ago, Rebecca posts, "We're having spaghetti and garlic bread. What's for dinner?" So she puts out this little meme, "What's for dinner?" Yeah. And it's been seen by forty people, and it has eight comments. Now, obviously, that's not crazy active. But, like, these people are all our campers, and they're all chatting with each other. Mm -hmm. But if you go down to other posts, um, like the one from yesterday, later on at night, they're asking getting to know you questions. This one has 64 comments. Wow. Right, so eight times the comments. That's pretty neat. It's it's really awesome. So, anyway, I I don't know. Your spirit's in that group, too, by the way. I saw that, and she's been telling people she knows little man's name. She's rubbing it in their face. Yep. So, um, I read a post this morning, and I hadn't seen it yet. Mm -hmm. And, okay, so we had to pause it because I couldn't find what I was talking about, and I realized Mm -hmm. I was just scrolling, and it was rude, and Carrie's looking at me like, what are you doing? Yeah, because somebody wants to watch a minute and a half of you scrolling on your phone. Well, that's why we had to cut out so many of the pie yesterday. I was talking to Carrie so much while she was playing the game that the camera ended up scrolling down and it was like looking at nothing. And I'm just watching. You were watching the game and yeah, because it was awesome camera. to watch you play it. Yeah, that Pokemon Puzzle League is something else. Yes. So, all like there's a group of the campers. They are always chatting with each other. They're mm-hmm. friends on Facebook, this and that. Well, one of our campers, her mother is, you know, going through some pretty rough times in the hospital. And, she, you know, they're, they were talking and, you know, Craig ends up posting, hey, you know, Kim's mom is really sick. Can we, you know, get some thoughts, some prayers, some love, whatever. Mm-hmm. So many people, like, reached out and, like, talked to her. Aww. And I was like, I just, you know, I don't know. You were moved by I was it. really moved because, sure, like... a. $12.99 mask like brought all these guys together mm-hmm. but they don't have to do this right you know they don't have to reach out to other people they don't have to be this nice so how did we get so lucky so lucky how do we get these people how do how did we do that you know that's a good question anyway if you guys are on Facebook and you want to get with with these amazing people you should definitely check it out. Tiff and Carrie's campground. Tiff and Carrie's it's campground. It's literally, they post in there all day about different stuff. And mm-hmm. they are in it all day long. The notifications are insane. Like, are and they? I try to read them and somebody wrote, do you guys think Tiff and Carrie are spying on us right now? And I was like, <laughs> of course we are. Anyway, I think I liked it or did something. So hopefully she saw it. But, like, they say goodnight to each other. Oh, wow. You know, like... And sure, they talk about us here and there, and mm-hmm. there's lots of quotes in there. Like people are saying stuff all the time, like "love is louder" and that's um, cool. Just different little quotes that we've said and stuff like that. But it made me cry a little bit because it was cool. Oh, yeah. I love how sensitive you are. I am not that sensitive. Yeah. Okay. I don't think that I'm that sensitive. Oh, no, but you are. <clears throat> so. I'm going to, like, circle back to our original conversation about you being out of it and wearing socks in the shower. Well, we're going way back. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Um, That is not the first time you've been out of it getting ready for school. And I have to tell the story because I think it's so funny and so cute. Even though it's probably just me who thinks it's funny. Do you know what I'm talking about? I yet? think so and... <laughs> oh, okay. So... Tiffany was getting ready for school one morning, and she was in a great mood, right? She wasn't late or anything like that. She wasn't rushing. And she's got her shirt on. She's got her hair done up. She puts her shoes on. She gets her backpack on her back. And she struts out into the kitchen like she is some hot stuff, (laughs) right? She's just, like, got a big grin on her face. She's like, yeah, I'm ready for school. She forgot one thing. She was wearing her cream colored shorts. Carrie. She was going to walk out the door. 
in her cream colored shorts <laughs> and go to school. It's not what happened. It is what happened. Oh. And I just, I think it's so funny and so cute and probably nobody else thinks it is, but it gave me such a great laugh. But what really had happened was, <laughs> I don't know why my shoes and my bag were in the living room. But like, mm -hmm. when I had all my stuff, I saw my bag and I was like, oh, my bag. Oh, there's my shoes. So like somewhere in the midst of that, when I was holding my pants, I ended up putting my backpack on. And I never do that until I'm dressed, you know, because then I pull my shirt down and make sure it's not riding up halfway through my back. Uh-huh. I don't know how I didn't notice when I put my shoes on that I didn't have pants on. I don't even know. <laughs> so I'm standing in the kitchen and I'm like, uh, Tiffany, are you forgetting anything? She's like, what? I said, I'm going to put some pants on. <laughs> are you going to go to school without pants today? She's like, I knew I wasn't wearing any pants. I <laughs> I was just carrying my bag out here like that. I <laughs> said that? Uh, <laughs> yes. What would have happened had I walked out the door? Do you think what I What if I wasn't there? That's what I mean. Like, do you think I would have noticed? Eventually. I think maybe when I sat down on the seat in the car. Maybe. I would have noticed. <laughs> You've been like, why is it so weird feeling? Why is it scratchy? Why does it feel like I'm sitting on a chip? <laughs> Don't even laugh. You know, you got a chip in your car, folks. Everybody has Who chips doesn't in their have car. a chip in their car seat? Jeez. Oh, man. I don't know why I do stuff like that. I remember that, too. I yeah. remember doing that. You remember trying to make a couple of excuses as to why you weren't wearing any pants? No, of course not, because I don't make excuses. I play like a champion. So many people are going to call you out on that statement. No, they're not. <laughs> yeah, they are. I can't wait for the comments to roll in on that one. Whatever. <sighs> Whatever. I got to get to my paper. Yeah, I have um, some things to do too, so we should probably close this out. Okay. All right, be right over. Carrie's coughing on the way over. <laughs> Why are you so pretty? I don't consider myself pretty. Why? You're beautiful. Well, thank you. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for hanging out. <laughs> thanks for listening to our stories today. We like stories. We do. We tell a lot of stories. Are you guys okay with them? Because, I mean, we have a lot of lived experience. So yeah. we have a lot of stories. We do. Yes. Oh, Especially God. with this one here. It's not true. It is. It's you. You have stories. Do I? Yeah. Mm, okay. Okay. Well. Are you going to say it? I already did. Say it again. Okay. Well, thanks for hanging out with us today. I like it. Hey, thanks so much for watching. I, okay. <laughs> okay. I, thanks so much for watching today, guys. And thanks for sharing us with your friends. <laughs> and we'll get you on the flippity. Why do you still have the battery in your hand? Don't forget to follow us on all of our social media pages, especially the tweeters. <laughs> <laughs>